Uh, in this video, we are going to look at the demo application that we are going to build in this tutorial. And this is the one which is going to be built. And here you see that you have a sign up, a Facebook sign up and a sign in. And there are many more features which I am going to give you a demo in this video. Let's start with sign up. Uh, here one user will be able to sign up using normal his email address and name and a password. For example, let's uh, do some sign up with SK Patel 20 plus E suppose for email address at gmail.com. Let me give the name as Sanjay E and some password. Submit. So this is one way of signing up and after signing up the user is automatically signed in. Let's now look at another way of signing up which is Facebook sign up. If one user clicks on this button, he will be asked to log in in his Facebook account and after he logs in, he will be asked to permit our application for using his Facebook account and then when he says OK, our application will be fetching his email address and name from Facebook and then this sign up form will come where he will have to provide just a password and then he can do submit. So this is another way of signing up. Then uh, let me now sign out. So there were a couple of ways our users can sign up and then once they sign up, well, let me show you the ways they can sign in. For signing in, they have to click this button and here they can use their email address and password or they can use also Facebook sign in. For example, if I click on this Facebook sign in button, I will not have to provide my email address and password and directly I will be signed in into my account. After signing in, a user may like to see his profile. And here you see that we, ha we are giving a disconnect from Facebook option. This will can be used by the user for disconnecting his account from Facebook. And if I click here, now the user is no more connected to Facebook. And then if I now go to profile, we are giving another option that is connect to Facebook. That means this user is now as if he has signed up with just an email ID and a password. And now unless I connect to Facebook, I will not be able to sign in using Facebook. So this is another feature that we are going to give. Uh, before I connect to Facebook, let me now show you by signing in using Facebook. That means this option. When I now click on this option, because that account, Sanjay Patel account was disconnected from Facebook, it is again thinking that somebody else is signing up and so is giving you again a sign up screen. But we are not going to sign up now. Let's sign in using sktl20 at gmail.com and we'll try to connect that account with, uh, with our Facebook account. For that, we should be using this connect to Facebook option. When I click on this, now it is connected. And if I now sign out and Facebook sign in, I should be able to sign in automatically. Yeah. So this user account is now connected to Facebook and let me sign out and now log in to another account as capital 20 plus E. If you remember, we signed up using that account using email ID and password. And if I sign in using that account and go to profile, and if I try to connect to Facebook, what is going to happen? Let's see. It's not allowing us to connect because there is already another account that is the other account, the Sanjay Patel account, which is already connected to the Facebook account. 
the same Facebook account which is logged in from my browser and so multiple users cannot connect to the same Facebook account and that's why it's now not allowing us so okay this was about signing in using Facebook signing in or signing up using Facebook now let me show you another option let me first sign out and Facebook sign in so it's going to sign in into the Sanjay Patel account and there now let me show you another option that is to fetch some Facebook data by clicking here we are going to look at my Facebook home feed uh, this feature is basically same as it is taught in the spring guides here in, uh, here accessing Facebook data so uh, now if I go to my profile and I disconnect from Facebook and then again I go to my profile and then instead of connecting to Facebook first if I directly click on fetch Facebook data and then it's now telling asking me to connect to Facebook and then if I connect to Facebook it's now telling me that I am connected to Facebook and it's telling me to click here to continue and when I click here to continue I see the same feed so in this video we gave a look at the uh, features the spring social features that we are going to develop in this tutorial and in the next video we are going to start with looking at some core concepts and terminology that we must first understand in order to understand spring social